Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my show Computer Wednesday. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at will Apple switch to USB-C? So let's dive right into it. So you have to understand, Apple as a company is known for Apple ecosystem. It's not that they just make the product, they make the software that goes into it, they make the regulations that regulate it, they make the accessories and they standardize everything. That's the whole Apple motto. It's an ecosystem. When you buy Apple, you just don't buy one product. You buy it into an Apple ecosystem. So this is very crucial. You have to understand everything is standardized among them. Like you can have this lightning board, uh, lightning adapter. And this will work with every generation of iPhone that has that port. It's not like it will only work with this iPhone. It will work along everyone. This older one, they ditched it now. But uh, this used to work from iPad, iPod and uh, older iPhones. So they are standardized. That's their selling point. You buy one Apple device, it works with every other Apple device. So why would they want to standardize? Well, think of it this way. Europe is taking some serious... Uh, steps to make sure that there is less e-waste basically this sort of crap and this is just the mess that used to be when before the laws was passed it was not voluntary law like you have to do this it was like you know a guideline uh, like please do this uh, and almost every company agreed to it sony russian to motorola to nokia to everyone everyone agreed to it except apple even though apple said they will do it they did not like actually implemented it and they all decided to agree on USB standard rather than creating their own random 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 standards. Now this allows for better customer service basically almost every charger will work with every other charger. Now if you are traveling in train or you are traveling in anywhere else even internationally you can you are reasonably sure that you're gonna have a either USB bank USB port or USB charger that you can just connect with your Android phone and almost any phone from this manufacturer is going to work except Apple. So customer service is kind of bad on that. Second, uh, if you accessorize it, this used to be the selling point of Apple that if you wanted to buy, let's say any Android phone, there was no dock for it. Like you can't just put your uh, Android there and it's going to charge, it's going to sync and it's, everything's going to work out. It was not like that. You have to connect a cable into it. Some uh, communication like uh, skipping tracks, moving ahead was doable, but it was not very smooth, but a smooth operation. So once you standardize it, then now you can have a scenario where dock manufacturers can say, okay, I'm just going to make one port. It's going to work with everything else. Standardization helps them with that sort of scenario. So are there any consequences of standardization? Yes. First, danger of explosion. These are iPhone that exploded and it's quite common for iPhone to explode. It's common for almost every phone to explode, every laptop to explode. Mostly, generally you discard it before it does, but it happens. It's nothing new, nothing to be shocked about. Like lithium inherently is flammable and uh, things happen. So the only way manufacturers make sure that your things don't go boom is very simple they make sure there are rigorous testing done to it the rigorous quality standards and a lot of safety procedures inbuilt into the charger inbuilt into the equipment this is what failed in the samsung they had some safeties but they did not have too many layers of safety so when somebody plugged in shitty charger boom things like that happen that happens with iphone also so there is a serious risk of explosions and it happens with laptop also so it's nothing unheard of it's quite common second you have because once you standardize it, the whole Chinese market will jump into it. There would be little to no quality control. This is what causes these sort of things. So uh, there is a kind of risk around that. Second, this this is what actually going to hurt Apple is they're, they're going to lose a lot of money into their first, first party accessories. Basically, right now, let's say you have USB 3, uh, USB 3 port that is running on the protocol of Thunderbolt. You can connect a, a monitor, an external display, a external storage medium, all that with one adapter. Here's the deal. That adapter will work with Dell, that will work with HP, that will work with Lenovo. The moment you connect it to Apple, Apple is like, no, I'm not working with this. I'm not. Just, just no. You have to buy instead of $30 adapter, you have to buy a $70 adapter. Flat out. So that sort of thing they do to make sure that they have high quality first uh, it's something something to do with safety but it's mainly for profit that's the core reason it's for profit then if there are so many risks then why i'm thinking that they're gonna do it well they're already on it as you can see they're 
MacBook Pros are already using USB-C standard, as in the connector. The reason for that is that it's one cable e ecosystem that they are creating. Imagine this, you buy a monitor, a LG 5K monitor, and you just plug that monitor into the power socket. Okay, power is there, awesome. Here's the deal, to connect your MacBook, all you have to do is connect the USB-C cable, and it's gonna charge them, it's gonna provide display signal, all at the same time, one cable ecosystem. And the cable is designed like uh, this cable that I'm showing you, USB Type-C, the port. It's basically somebody took some serious effort into making sure this is future-proof. So it has many layers, as in like what layer, level of power it's going to provide. So at level 1, it's only going to provide uh, 5 to 10 watts of power, at level 2, 30 to 40 watts. At level four, 3 or 4, it is that's going to provide 100 watts of power. So uh, there is a lot of safety, a lot of future uh, thinking was done. And once you get the port, you can also do one score, uh, what's called uh, protocols uh, bridging. Basically, in that you have one cable, as in that one port, one cable, but it can have multiple protocols going through it. So there is a different protocol that goes for USB data transfer. There is a different protocol that goes for display graphics adapters and things of that nature. So this thing, you can keep the port, but you can change electronics internally and you can have one cable to do them all. So as of now, as I speak to you, Apple already has successfully done it where you can have your laptop charging by the same port, your laptop can display images upwards of 5K, even higher than that, and uh, transfer data at the same time just using one cable. So it is the ultimate ecosystem and they are already doing it. And this was a, uh, once they announced uh, lightning cable, the problem was that uh, EU, the European Union was kind of uh, angry about them because they voluntarily said that they're gonna take uh, steps to make sure reduce e-waste but they are still making their own personal crap which nobody else can use which means more waste so for that reason there is uh, some serious debate going around in EU as I speak to you that they might uh, take legal actions against this to reduce the e-waste and for that reason Apple is taking steps they are taking steps they are um, it's not like they are ignoring and second this connector that USB-C connector is one connector to rule them all everything that can be done using any type of connector can be done with this connector and as of now as I speak to you it's already classified for 100 watt use to give you an idea how much 100 watt is it's almost all laptop is under 100 watt except some gaming laptops which are like very big very beefy they are above 100 watt but most laptops are below uh, 80 watts so for that reason and not to mention they might upgrade the standard again because it has inherent uh, communication built into it so if you connect let's say 100 watt adapter to your mobile phone it's not gonna send 100 watt it's gonna be like okay if the communication is gonna happen the communication will send green light okay layer one okay send me five watt layer two no green light okay i'm not gonna send you 50 watts of power so there are layers of communication built into the standard the standard usb3 standard so sooner or later apple is gonna shift to this will this happen with this next iphone most likely but uh, let's see so this was my presentation on apple will they switch to usb 3.0 or usb c i hope you liked it or learned from it in that case please like if you didn't don't worry about it dislike it leave a comment what you want to see in the next episode of computer wednesday and please subscribe press the bell icon as i make video every day and as always thanks for watching